Show must go on, egal was ist. The show must go on, whatever happens. Und and that means putting on your makeup and a big smile. Make-up und ein Lächeln. René Scholl is a circus artist, like seven generations of his family before him. The Bush Circus is a family business, but these days it's struggling to survive. The stalls are often empty, and René is dealing with some serious health issues. He's been diagnosed with a brain tumor. He needs to be completely focused when he's performing and on top physical form. For René and the circus, the future is uncertain. The circus moves on roughly every six weeks. Every time they arrive somewhere new, the family hope that this time things will be different. But their hopes are usually dashed. René is 27. He's lost track of how many times he's set up these stalls. There's room for 700 people, but that many rarely come. It's a hard life, but René isn't the type to complain. I always say you need to take every day as it comes because it might be your last. I'm the sort of person who can't just take to his trailer and let others do all the work. And I really would feel like a sick man. I'd just be sitting there doing nothing, looking out of my window at others working hard. I'd fall into a big black pit of depression. I mean, I could start thinking it's all over, but then I might be here another 20 years, who knows? Thinking it's all over, and in fact, it isn't. As soon as the circus tent has been pitched, René and his sisters have to start rehearsing. The tears of a clown, a phrase that could have been coined for René. We always say you can cover up a lot with makeup and a big smile. It works for me. I often need to cover something up. Once after a party, I leapt over a fence and fell. There was blood coming out of my ear. That's how they found the tumor. I had to have surgery, but the doctors could see straight away they weren't going to be able to remove it entirely because it's too compact in there. I had a break from trampolining for about seven months, but even then it wasn't enough. I couldn't balance properly, I'd fall over, I'd feel dizzy. It was just no good. René still has problems with balance, but he's back on the trampoline. Welcome to the circus. May I see your ticket? Wonderful. It's all there. Please give your ticket to the gentleman in the grey jacket and he'll show you to your seats. Have fun. A very warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Bush Circus. We're delighted to see you all. And now let the music play. May the show begin. You'd never guess René recently underwent surgery. He had to relearn his skills from scratch. I'm counting the seconds when I jump. I've lost my sense of balance. I'm deaf in one ear. I've got tinnitus. On some days I really struggle, and sometimes I don't get enough sleep and I get dizzy. I need to lie down and I feel terrible. 
hinlegen und dann geht es mir richtig schlecht. Also ich, Some days I just can't perform. Kann Then the others have to do the act by themselves. Taking time out isn't an option during the show. René also appears in the ring assisting his wife, Marilyn. They give every show their all, even when hardly anyone is watching. There weren't many of you, but you were a wonderful audience. Thank you. Morning, Kiki. Morning, Kiki. Morning, Kiki. Servus. Wenn wir verkaufen, das Servus. Servus ist bayerisch. Breakfast is in the trailer with the whole family, including René's youngest daughter. The circus is the only life she's ever known. The roles within the family are clearly defined. It goes without saying that the women serve the men their breakfast. <laughs> It was two and a half years ago that René's brain tumour was diagnosed, and two years ago that he had surgery. He still has regular checkups. He's seeing the doctor today. The appointments are always nerve wracking. After the operation, René had radiation treatment at the Charité Hospital in Berlin. His doctor is optimistic, but the tumour hasn't gone completely. Bitte. Gucken wir uns die Bilder an, ne? Let's take a look at the latest x-rays from February. The treatment was a year ago. We can see the progression. On the left, we can see what the tumour looked like before the treatment. This is the outer ear canal. It's pushing against it. Then these images are from the first checkup in September 2015. And on the far right are the images from February this year, a year after treatment. You can see very nicely that the tumor is slowly shrinking. These black spots you see here are tumor tissue that's dying and the scavenger cells are breaking it down, so there's no activity here. If it stays like that and the chances are good, then you won't have any more problems. That's the case in 9 out of 10 cases with this sort of tumor. Normalerweise gelingt uns das in neun von zehn Fällen bei dieser Art von Tumor. Despite the good news, René will be living with the consequences of his illness for the rest of his life. He'll never be able to hear properly with his left ear again, and the tinnitus and dizziness are unlikely to improve. René doesn't really feel he's out of the woods. Das alles. It all looks very promising. Nine out of ten cases turn out well. I'm a positive person, my glass is half full. But what if I'm that one in ten? I try not to think about it. I'm just living in the here and now. It would be different if it was just me, but I've got two kids. Life's got to go on. At the circus, too. Animal feed, electricity, rent, all need to be paid for, regardless of how few people come. René's aunt Yvette can't help fretting. Today was a black day, but we've got to stay positive, however hard that may be. I always put a great pile of tickets here in case lots of people come. I could just lay out a few because I know not many people are coming, but I can't start thinking like that. But apart from the neighbours, no one comes at all. Today's performance is cancelled. René tells the few who've showed up that they can keep their tickets and use them on another day. That's one of the worst jobs. 
having to go and tell people that the show's cancelled. It's not going to happen. They can see themselves why. There's no point making excuses. All we can say is it's not worth our while, it's not cost effective. We can't pay the electricity bill, but no one wants to have to do it, and that's the honest truth. I mean, how many are there? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? Twelve, counting the one you just left. Twelve people. It's not worth it. I hope you can understand that, and you're not annoyed with us. Tschüss. It's good. That's life. We've just got to deal with it. Maybe we're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Something like that. Despite everything, the family can't imagine ever doing anything else. None of us finish school. When you grow up in the circus, you don't have a choice but to stay. We've got all sorts of skills, but nothing on paper. It would be nice to have nothing to worry about. A carefree life. No worries, that's what I dream of. <laughs>